In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I trimmed my client's natural hair. She has long, beautiful tresses, and this is the second time that I'm giving her a trim. So buckle up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha. I'm a natural hair specialist. I specialize in natural hair care, natural hair styles, and also I'm a licensed hair loss practitioner, so I treat persons with alopecia. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead, subscribe, click the notification bell, so when I post new content, of course, you'll be sure to get notified. With all that said, let's get into it. Her hair is freshly washed, deep conditioned, and blown out. So I'm just going through in smaller section trimming the ends first thing you need to know once you're going to trim your ends you need a shear that is just for trimming you need a sharp shear used only for trimming ends the second thing is there are different methods to trim here today i'm showing you the method in which i blow dried her here first and i'm just dusting the ends and giving her a light trim in sections i'm not trying to get the hair to be even i'm just trying to trim away the strangly ends the damaged ends that she have which she doesn't have a lot she just like to see her ends somewhat even out but also she does wear a lot of protective style with her own hair and i need to trim it in such a way where i got rid of the stringy ends but still it would be able to maintain the style and not undo itself once i'm done so that's why i'm trimming her hair like this also, because her hair is blown out, I'm able to go through it with this tiny teeth comb. Usually, I don't use a small teeth comb in my client's hair, but for accuracy and to make sure that I'm getting all those ends, I'm using this fine teeth comb while her hair is blown out to get all the trim, all the ends trimmed off. <laughs> Another method that you could use, I won't be showing you in this video, but stick around, like I said, subscribe. So when I post that content, definitely you'll see. You could dust your hair, you could trim your hair while it is curly, but the difference is if you trim your hair while it is curly, you may end up cutting off more than what you intended to cut off because we know natural hair shrinks. And when it shrinks, you're not able to see the amount that you're really taking off. But that if, if that's okay with you, that's fine with you, go ahead. But if you're looking to retain length on the other hand, you want to make sure that when you're doing your trim you stretch your hair you don't always have to use heat if you don't use heat on your hair like myself my hair is heat sensitive i rarely put heat on it when i do it's probably once or twice per year but if you don't want to use heat on your hair but you still need your hair to be stretched there are so many styles and things that you can do to stretch that hair out to make sure that whenever you're doing your trims you're really cutting what you want to cut you could do african threading method i have a video on here on how i thread my hair to stretch it you could do bantu knots you could do big braids after washing white and, and dry and you could do so many things you know to strengthen to stretch your hair sorry before you get a trim so go ahead and do that if you don't mind trimming it you know when it is curly another thing that you could do is dusting dusting is pretty much you cutting off just the sections of the hair that looks a little bit stringy so a lot of person tend to dust the hair while they were in a protective style like in twists or braids or whatnot just cutting off the ends that are looking stringy and also you could go through and cut just the split ends just the single strand knots just the damaged part of the hair that helps you to retain far more length but it's also very time consuming those are different methods that you can actually use to make sure that your natural hair this is staying healthy at the ends and why is trimming important because it is important i'm not talking about being scissor happy because if you're looking to retain length being scissor happy is going to be counterproductive but trims are important every like like every five to six months some person trim their hair every four months. It depends on the amount that you're taking off. But it does aid in length retention because if you don't get trims and you have split ends, you have single strand knots, your ends are constantly tangling up at the ends and that is just going to foster some breakage for you. Ends, you're going to lose the length just the same. And damaged ends, especially split ends, tend to split all the way down to the length of the hair and you end up losing an entire strand whereas if you cut the ends off while it's split you save that strand of hair you save so many strands of hair you'll get thicker hair your hair will start retaining far more length than if you hadn't done so and that's why trims are important also like if you're trying to retain length if you do long-term protective styles you don't need to trim as often because I find when you do long-term protective styles, your ends 
are more than likely tucked away and the damage is not you know so imminent in that case so you want to make sure that you still get your trims at least twice per year get a nice trim cut off what needs to be cut off and do back your protective style if that is you outside of that if you wear your hair out you definitely need more trims than persons that do long-term protective style because when your hair is exposed to the element you tend to have a lot of damage at that time and if you don't trim that damage off then you're just going to have a lot of breakage However you wear your hair, girl, if you choose to trim or not to trim, I'm just providing the information for you. <laughs> anyway, guys, until next time, remember Jesus loves you, so be very good. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Comment in the section below. Let me know how often you get trimmed or if you have ever done any trim, because I know some person that have never had a trim before. If you do it at home by yourself or if you get it professionally done. We got